Welcome back to another episode of A Double-Edged Sword. Now this year, Nintendo has two big ticket, hot in demand items, the Nintendo Switch and the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. The SNES Classic is a mini version of the 1991 Nintendo console. It's basically just a plug and play preloaded with 21 games, including the never before released Star Fox 2. Now, even though this console is highly demanded, the supply for it is almost non-existent. The supply is so low, in fact, that I wasn't even able to get one, but screw it, I'm still gonna review it anyways. As stated before, there are 21 games on the SNES Classic. Compared to the NES Classic that had 30 games, this feels a little disappointing. There are some noticeable omissions, most importantly in my opinion being Chrono Trigger and Donkey Kong Country 2. However, for the most part the selection is pretty good, especially with the inclusion of Super FX games like Star Fox and Yoshi's Island. But because I'm unable to play these games to see how they hold up, I'm gonna give it an awful. The Super Nintendo Classic has three different viewing modes, Pixel Perfect, 4x3, and CRT Filter. These are the exact same modes that were offered in the NES Classic, which I mean I have no problem with. With the NES Classic, I almost never used the CRT Filter, and if I could get one of these, I probably wouldn't use it here either. Hopefully the frame rates, graphics, and all that jazz holds up and stays consistent, but since I'm unable to check, I'm gonna give graphics a lousy. Most of the features from the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition return, like being able to simultaneously switch between games, create save points, and a few other little features. Unlike the NES Classic, the SNES Classic has added in a variety of frames that you can use to fill in the blank space surrounding the game. In theory, this is a good idea, but I see myself barely using it. Sometimes you just can't top the feeling of a tube TV. <laughs> Another new feature is that of being able to rewind your save points, and the amount of time at which you can rewind changes depending on the game you're playing. While in the screensaver, you can use your save points and it'll replay some of your gameplay, which is neat. But since I don't actually have the system to test out these features, let's just give it an awful. Have you heard that menu music? It's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know how the sound will hold up within the games, but I'm gonna give it a good. This little box looks just like the original Super Nintendo. I know some people will complain about how you have to flip open a hatch to get to the controller ports, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make so that it overall looks more authentic when the controller isn't plugged in. For the most part, the controllers look identical. I'm also glad that they gave you two controllers this time around. My only real problem with the design is the cord length. It's five feet, which, well, yes, they took feedback and made it longer than the NES Classic. They didn't make it longer by much. It's still far shorter than the original controllers, and while granted it helps shorten the distance when you have to travel back to the console to change games, I still want it longer. Also, you have to push a button on the console to change games, which, while authentically, it's nice, it also would have been nice to have a shortcut within the controller or something. Overall, I'm gonna give design a bad. While yes, we've had the beta version of this game on ROMs for years now, having the first official release of this game is really cool. After so long, f being able to finally play the official complete release of this game is something I never thought I'd see. That's why it sucks so much that I'm not able to get one of these systems. And I would not put it past Nintendo for this to be the only release of this game and that it never gets ported to Virtual Console. The fact that I can't play this never before released game annoys me to no end. So I'm giving this an atrocious, the lowest possible score. For the past two decades now, Nintendo has established a sort of pattern. They create something people really want, and then they make next to none of them. The N64, the Wii, Amiibos Wave 1 through 7, the Switch, and of course, the NES Classic. In the past, people have chalked this up to a marketing strategy. By lowering the supply, they create more demand and publicity. Then they eventually make more of the low supply, the thing is though, with the NES Classic in the SNES Classic, they only get about halfway. They make a small amount of supply, which creates a large demand, but they never actually get around to fulfilling that high demand. 
They treat a lot of these products like you would a collector's edition instead of just consuming the millions of dollars people would pay for a $60 to $80 stupid little retro plug and play. They don't realize that people could just get all of these games for free on an emulator or just make a Raspberry Pi that basically does the same thing. The only thing that's stopping people from doing this is the fact that they like you, Nintendo. They want to give you their hard-earned money for an official product. But if you keep screwing over your fans like this by making only three of these damn things, their loyalty is going to dry up. The fans that kept you aloft during the Wii U era, the fans that put up with your shitty online app, eventually they'll hit their breaking point and they'll give up on you. And while yes, some fans will stick around with you through heaven and hell, they won't like you, they'll just tolerate you. Because when you're on point, you can do amazing things. And I hope you continue to do amazing things and learn some basic business ideas on how to sell a goddamn product so that more people can enjoy the great things you've done in the past, present, and foreseeable future. With all that being said, I'm going to give the Super Nintendo Classic Edition an awful. And maybe if I could hypothetically get one, I'll reevaluate that score.